I'm here with Ali, Fade, one of the posters, and I am so stressed right now. I don't know if I could be able to pull this cut off. <laughs> Which means it would have been like three weeks of my life wasted. Today is July 21st. Today is not July 21st. Today is July 2nd. We have a countdown now of about 19 days because we just came up with the best idea in the world. Thank you, Peter. I'll do what I can. We are going to host a warehouse party in New York City, the release of Barbie and Oppenheimer. We're gonna see whether we can pull it off in 19 days, how much it's gonna cost, so let's get started. Anyone else is doing this? No. I can't imagine this is like the only huge event. This is Luca. Uh, he's gonna help us with the marketing. Talk about UGC content. Listen, I helped blow shit up on TikTok. I always came up with the idea. I thought it was pretty sick. You got the climax of stream, make a party in line with like a meme cultural moment. I was like, you know what we could do? Put it on TikTok. Now I'm on the call. Starting to set in how much work this is gonna be. We might be changing the date to the 22nd. The spot we're looking at currently, 99 Scott is kind of booked on the 21st. Might have to change the date a little bit. Got someone who's gonna help us out with the design and the curation of the place. I'm Borja Scatini. I'll be designing the space. Looking to have some set pieces in the place. We'll see what that's gonna be like. Everything is starting to fall into place. We're trying to find a place, trying to get everything we need. Um, we're setting up our, our the system we're using to sell tickets is called Posh. As you saw yesterday, Luca's gonna be helping us with that through TikTok. Who knows, maybe you would've seen those TikToks by then. We're setting that up today, so hopefully we get all of that up and running. After that, it's a matter of securing the location, which hopefully we can do by tomorrow, which will give us about 16 days to totally design the space, make sure that we know exactly what we want, book all the DJs, and then market and sell all of the tickets. And that's gonna be the hard part. Bathrooms. This place is so nice. Container over here rolls up. That's the bar. So here's where the entrances would be. Over here we got side entrance, main entrance. It's kind of on a side street, which is nice. It's hidden. Like deck it out. Yeah, on either side. All right, so we just took a tour of the uh, event space, 99 Scott Ave, which is now definitely what we're gonna go with. It's a massive space, beautiful space, uh, but it's gonna be hard to sell all the tickets, so that's what I'm concerned about. So we're gonna get on the marketing tonight, and I'll talk to you guys later. So it's July 7th right now. We're about 15 days out. Uh, we just released the ticketing, so we have two weeks and a day to sell out. Hopefully 500 tickets. Uh, we'll see, right? Right here is the poster. Boom, we made that poster. Tomorrow we have, boom, these stickers. Boom, yeah. Post them all over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to post them all over New York. There's a QR code on it. Hopefully that works as a marketing thing. Uh, right now, you know, you reach out to your immediate circle. The Posh website is up. Up. You guys can see that here. It's our ticketing platform. I also sent it to RA Guide and Dice as well. Very stressed. Still dealing with some budgeting issues. Uh, that's a story for another day. It's New York. Everyone, like, people are gonna go. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. People would go, especially the, the venue. Go. You just gotta, like. Should I ask this guy? I don't even know this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this guy. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, I have a question. If there was a Barbie-themed ex-Oppenheimer rave on the weekend that the movies come out, would you go? Well, I would, but I think there's an audience for that. You're right, there is an audience. Thank you. I mean, feel better. No stress. Hey guys, quick update, because uh, I gotta run really quick, but it is July 8th, and we are getting random people buying our tickets. We just released yesterday, we have 13 people buying our tickets, we haven't gotten friends to buy any tickets, uh, like two of our friends did, and then the rest are just like 11 random people because we posted in Reddit. We currently have the top posts in Raves NYC, which is amazing. A bunch of other Reddit groups. We're posting on Facebook currently, so we'll see what happens. We're 14 days away. Can we hit that 400 mark in 14 days? I think so.
Alright. Bachelorette section is <laughs> actually the way to go. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Yo, look at that. We got penis shit. We have some major updates. This is crazy. It is currently 8 p.m. on July 11th. We have approximately 11 days to go right on our timeline. I... Uh, where do I begin? Boom! New York Post article. What? The New York Post wrote an article about our Barbenheimer party, right? Crazy! Like, what? I mean, to be fair, I'm surprised no one else is doing this. A lot of parties started popping up in the last couple days. Not as cool as ours. Way more haphazard put together. <laughs> Not saying that ours isn't. The past couple days, it's been so busy. I've literally been running around the city doing all this. Purchased a stack of a thousand flyers, different posters. Me and Borja designed these stickers. Actually, Borja did. I just kind of got them. Great idea. But what has the biggest thing been in the past day, in the past 12 hours? Uh, I made some TikToks. On July 22nd, there will be a Barbie X Oppenheimer warehouse party and rave across the street from Brooklyn Mirage, House of Yes, elsewhere, all in that Bushwick area. Our TikTok currently, let me check, the best one has 64.8 thousand views. It was the second TikTok that I posted on this account. I mean, I guess the formula worked. My friend Robert and Luca helped me figure out exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, the account currently has 151 followers after one day. Dice, Dice, trying to reach Dice and they just haven't been getting back to me. They commented on my freaking video. I DM them the TikTok Barbie X Oppen party, that right there. I mean, it's not gonna be used probably anymore. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a party account from now on. Maybe I'll start hosting parties. Not for me. That TikTok in particular, they currently have 1,343 saves, 6269 likes, and 82 comments. Overwhelmingly positive reviews. I'm extremely fortunate, extremely grateful. 11 days out from the actual event. We have 68 tickets sold. This is without any promotion on our end to our friends or anything like that. The ticket holders are currently people that we don't know. So this is a really big deal. An overwhelming demand, so I'm not very concerned. From this point on, I guess we're just gonna see. It's scary, but it's also super exciting. Dent. Dent? Yeah, this guy right here. He's so good. I don't know what day it is for this. Currently nine days out. We have a very busy day today. Excuse all the construction. Speaking of construction, we are actually going to be starting building different decor pieces that we're gonna have in the space. So we are Look at that standing, right? The atomic disco bomb. I realized I don't have a drill. Did you need the actual jigsaw in? So I'm using a knife so I can put the jigsaw through that slot. Currently Thursday, July 20th. We have two more days. Uh, we also just crossed 500 yeah. tickets sold. We just crossed 500 tickets sold. We're still not even yet. Whatever. Uh, that's not concerning at all. It's not concerning at all. 505 tickets sold. Um, it's going really well. We're excited. <laughs> July 22nd. It's Judgment Day. I'm nervous. I'm excited, but I really don't know what's gonna happen. Just to break down what the day looks like, right now it's currently 11.10. I'm gonna get picked up here at 11.30. Gonna bring all the decorations, load up, go to Borja's. We're gonna pick up the giant Barbie box that you guys have seen us building, and then we're gonna take that over to 99 Scott where we're going to set everything up. Uh, starting in two, two is loadout time. We're gonna have our sound checks from seven to nine. Uh, everyone's gonna be setting up, doing their thing. Looking at the stats, we're doing really well. The amount of tickets sold is 660 as of 11.12. On the day of the actual event, we had 11,886 page views. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll meet you guys at the venue. Bam, bam, she wanna flip for the gram. Oh man, you fucking crazy. <laughs> Look, y'all, y'all think that I put mama son? Soon as we done, I'm a roll up. Full lines are better, I pull up. All right, so we got all the pieces. Yeah, now we just gotta put it together. So right behind me, the sound guys are coming in. So they have like all the trussing and stuff. We're basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang all of the lights here on each side on a bunch of. Right? We're gonna have a bunch of moving heads on each side, as well as wash lights and strobe lights. 
and we're gonna have our DJ booth over here, eight by 12 stage, that's gonna be right in the center. Uh, we're gonna have a pipe and drape that's gonna cover the entire back of the stage so that we have a little bit of a green room. And then at the same time, all the lighting people are gonna be off to the side. We're gonna have haze and everyone's gonna be raving and stuff like this. Right, shout out to Peter's dad for driving a bunch of stuff here. Yeah. Probably gonna get a skateboard and skate around now because we have time. Have you seen the bathroom? <laughs> Wait, so show, it, show it. <laughs> what the? There's so many. <laughs> we have a bathroom attendant. We have coat check. <laughs> oh, pretty good. So, Matt just explained to us what our specialty cocktails are. Pretty in Pink, which is the Barbie theme. There's a pink lemonade Moscow mule, pink lemonade vodka, and ginger beer. And then we have a mezcal Negroni, basically, for Oppenheimer drink. A dub bomb. Very cinematic. I'm tying all of these balloons by hand. Thank you to Ali and Lucy and Borja for blowing them up. This many to go. Tied all of these. I'm tired. Alright guys, so this is what the venue looks like right now. It's pretty sick. Um, right now we have the drape being set up back there. Which is awesome. We got the lights here. The bar has just been set up. Right now our biggest thing is the disco ball. Our Peter went back home, but he has to rush back now to drop off all the stuff. We're gonna get that disco ball hopefully set up in the next 30, 20 minutes. <laughs> this is wild. Doing anything? This is Shay. This is one of the DJs. Going from yeah, two to four. Let's go. So this is what it's gonna look like from the stage. What type of stuff are you gonna play? Everything from like hard techno to nice. atmospheric to disco. Two worlds colliding for real. Let's go. That's yeah. all going on. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys. So here's security. Everyone's gonna enter through here. We got the line. Expecting 750, 800 people. So you can't really see it. The pink lights are gonna be shown on this table. This is where tickets are gonna be. Then you come on up, all the music is going, all the lights are going. This is crazy, honestly, craziest thing I've ever done. Everyone can take their photo, and then you come in, boom. Music. Marvinheimer! It's Marvinheimer! Yeah, it's just a quick tour. Now let's get to the night. Are you gonna drink? We'll have one or two at like 11. <laughs> cheers, guys. Right, cheers. Oh my god, ball. Let's go. First shot of the night. The lights are going crazy right now. Like it's like magical. What's good, Robert? You excited to work the table for a little? You got a list here. Okay, it's currently 9.56. You can see the lights. You can see the strobe lights going. People aren't gonna start showing up for another 30 minutes probably. There's a line out the door. It's so far. There are so many people coming in. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I took two shots. I'm done. It looks like empty. This is this is the final product. Okay, and this is what it looks like full. Turn up the radio. Alright guys, we're done with the party. Peter. Exhausted, elated, like what successful. Time is it? Successful. Is it 4 a.m.? It's That's exactly what I said. I want to let you guys in on the next party that I'm about to throw. I'm throwing a hollow weekend warehouse rave slash party in New York City. We're gonna have amazing acts such as the amazing Tiffany Day. DJ Dave, who just opened for JPEG Mafia, and much, much more. They're gonna be fire breathers, they're gonna be aerial artists, it's gonna be a hollow weekend. Go check it out. And I'm just excited that you're gonna be watching this video because this is a wild ride. Alright, see you guys later.